right, let's get this train wreck going. I know. Yeah, you bought us tickets. So. <laughs> and insisted we go. Yep. Here we go. Uh Oh, boy. <laughs> what did it say? This game touches on heavy subjects. Take care. We're off to a great start. Uh, so this is milk outside of a bag of milk outside of a bag of milk. Yep. What? Oh, this ought to be good. Stores closing soon. That was a 24-7 store. And it said it was closing soon. <laughs> closing soon. Oh, like maybe closing, like going out of business. Oh, maybe. Dude, this is haunting. I'm already really creeped out. I've watched animes like this. Yeah, this reminds me of like um, Paranoia Agent. Just haunting shit. Not familiar. Oh her. no. Oh no. It's gonna take her head off, isn't it? No. Whatever this is is gonna do it. No, I thought she was gonna jump. What do you see? Pretty sure. What is going on? Um yeah, uh, in case anybody missed the <laughs> the intro message, this touches on heavy shit. Trigger warning, all of them. Every one. Every single one. Mostly because we don't know which one. <laughs> yep. We don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> all right. Well, I didn't suspect this to be a horror game. Uh, apparently it is. You didn't expect this to be a horror game? No. I heard the I heard the title and immediately knew. Really? Oh yeah, I was just like, that's gonna be a fucked up game. So I, out of like top tens and stuff, like I've seen people be like, oh, this game's like fun to play or like good or whatever. That's all I've heard. It's like, yeah, this is kind of an interesting game to play. That's it's it. That's all I've heard. <laughs> and I'm just like, cool. Like, let's just throw it on the list. This would be a good one off. And like now I watch the intro and I'm like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> This will be interesting recording because now I've got you on the better mic. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I'm like watching how it is I'm talking and watching like the feed and stuff like that. And you're right. I am really quiet. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my room and try not to look around. Joke's on you. I'll do whatever. Um. What are y'all looking at? Something in my teeth? Oh, sorry. I'm supposed to click. Oh, okay. This game has given me nothing so far, so I'm kind of just making it up as I go. They dash all over the walls. One of those shadows whizzes past me, touching my face ever so slightly. I smile and continue walking, pain at no mind. Spinning in the joyful dance. Mom told me to go to bed. <laughs> Oh, oh, dude. <laughs> Past the kitchen on the way to my room, the door is shut, and I can still feel the chilling air coming through the other side. <laughs> my first thought is that there's a living corpse blowing into the keyhole, laughing mockingly. What the fuck? <laughs> That's so silly. I'm absolutely sure we have no corpses in our kitchen. Oh. I know for sure that we've never had any corpses in our kitchen. I'm absolutely sure of that. Really? You're really sure? You're really sure, like, you didn't just accidentally leave it's a corpse in there? It's <laughs> Milk outside of a bag of milk outside of a bag of milk. I break into a run and dash toward the closed door. The shadows intensify their chaotic dance. Are they trying to stop me or calm me down? I don't know. It doesn't matter right now. Don't you get it? I wave my hands around as I run. 
trying to chase away my annoying pursuers, but then I suddenly realize that I won't be able to stop in time. I've got no other choice but to break the door down. <laughs> if there's somebody inside, I'll surely scare them to death, but wait, how can I scare to death someone who's already dead? What if it actually revives them? No, 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 I don't want that. What do I do? Is this person's mind melting off before our very um, eyes? <laughs> yeah. I couldn't fully complete my thought when my shoulder hit the door and it flew open. Good for you. Like, we we just got here and it went to, like, 0 to 60 in, yeah, like, this is a like, sentence. Yeah, this is, like, 210 right away. Okay. As I expected, there was no living corpse inside, but there, but there was, a was a bag of milk. milk I bought today, sitting right in the middle of the table, watching me with its unblinking eyes. I stare back. Nothing happens. This Although, insanity is falling apart. What exactly did I expect? Gratitude? I have done something that, it war that warranted it. A bag of milk probably doesn't care whether it's on a shelf in a store or on the table in my mom's kitchen. On the other hand, nobody would drink milk inside the store, which means I took it from the safest place in the world into the scary unknown. I'm so sorry, you poor thing. What the fuck? Why does this matter? <laughs> I turn away in shame and leave the room in a hurry. I only bring others trouble. I walk toward my room through a narrow corridor. I feel a familiar formless creature at the door. It locks me in its clutches and starts sniffing every inch of my body like a hungry dog. Tim's face is just horrified. And I concur. This is like... The music, though. Like, if you're listening to this, like, turn it up for a second. <laughs> and that chilling... Oh, sorry. I didn't I didn't catch that last one. It's fine. I left it on long enough to read. I actually read it, to be sure. <laughs> After sniffing me from head to toe, the creature holds out its ugly paws, bearing a single claw, thin and sharp like a blade. Oh, no. You know what's great? Um, Not what's about to happen? No, 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 no. This, this is going to be terrible. Uh, I basically am not needed here. My job can be replaced by an auto-clicker. <laughs> All I've had to do is click the mouse I, button. Well, like, uh, can Again. I get your opinion on something before we go any further? Should I keep reading it? Sure. Okay. That's fine. Like, I don't know. Like, I've done, we've done videos where sometimes I read the stuff and sometimes I don't. Yeah. But I kind of want to read this. Read it. It's fine. We Again? Can also, we can also edit this conversation out, too, so it looks like you're just reading it. Oh, well, yeah, we could. Yeah. That's why I haven't clicked forward yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Again, question mark? I stare questioningly into the monster's bottomless eye sockets. I don't know what makes it more haunting or less haunting, the fact that you're reading it. And I know I said that in a, as a very strange question, because it's like, on one hand, I could read it myself and like just like blank faces own it out, but then you reading it out loud almost makes it real. Yeah. And I'm kind of just like... Yeah. Looking well, at you, and then looking, and it also it's like help. subtitles versus a narrator. <laughs> it yeah. also doesn't help that like suddenly I'm sitting alone because now I'm at your desk and you're over there. Yeah, you're over there. <laughs> now I'm just like I'm. Don't move. <laughs> and the way that your desk is set up, it's like I'm not looking at anything else but a screen. <laughs> With the narrator in my ear. The creature squeezes my hands until my veins start bulging, and I just keep staring into the black cavities where its eyes should be, ignoring all pain. I've promised so many times. Stay put. The moment oh, it no. says that, its claws pierce my arm. I don't feel anything other than the barely discernible crawling under my skin and the ring of tightly sprung sinews. But then, then the claw injects its venom into me. Who wrote this? Who hurt you? <laughs> it hurts. A white veil appears in front of my eyes. My fingers cramp and start twitching frantically. I lose control over my body and slowly slide to the floor, just like last time. 
but why? Why do I feel so hot? I feel my blood boiling up. Strong shivers run through my body, paralyzing every single cell while my veins and arteries heat up, almost bursting from that pressure. I try screaming, but then instead of producing words, I vomit thick, foamy milk. The creature notices it and throws itself at me in anger, grabbing me by the throat while keeping the poisonous claw inside my arm. I just feel like we should record my reactions. <laughs> Kill me. Kill me. Hysterical screams resound through the corridor. In a fit of madness, the creature starts scratching my neck. Bright splashes fly everywhere, hitting the walls with a loud sound. I try to print something that I didn't get to read. I need to remember. Sorry. I need... Hands is up. this like a... I feel like this is like... A slow uh, like, burn no, intro? No, like, a, like, a, like an addiction story. Like this is like the monsters like representative of drugs. Oh, could be. I mean, it did say it was going to touch on some uh, topics. <laughs> It maybe. <laughs> I'm curious as to like how long this game is. Uh, yeah. Like how long could it be? I haven't done anything besides click. <laughs> A new wave of pain washes over me. Everything turns pitch black in an instant. I think you're right. Addiction for sure. I'll never drink milk ever again. What? Um... That's not where I thought that was going. It's not, no. I... Say it. I'll never drink milk ever again. Say it again. Jesus Christ. I'll never drink milk ever again. I'll never drink milk ever again. Credits roll. Please, credits roll. I was like, you think so? I've really wanted it to be true. Like, and that just leaves us with that and nothing else. The weird sounds don't make me anxious at all. Yeah, you can, you can go to the next one. Mom told me to go to bed, so I need to perform all the needed preparations. Wash my face, and I'm standing in front of the mirror with a toothbrush in my mouth. Needed preparations? That's a weird way to say I'm getting ready for bed. <laughs> yeah, I, the, I'm guessing that's like a translation thing. Oh, could be. Look at my reflection. It shows absolutely no desire to sleep. Yeah, I get how you feel. <laughs> uh... I beg to differ. That's a, definitely a face that I've made this week, actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that, I needed to go to bed. That looks like Tim when he wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. There was a time when the last minutes before I sleep were my favorite time of day. I loved anticipating the inevitable moment when the reality and dream world would clash. It's not where I thought that was going. I thought that was going to go straight to like a death reference. Embracing the sweet and sweet release of death. Oh no, you hear that music? We're happy fun time right now. It's because we're high as balls, son. You can keep going. Looks like you were right on that. Uh, no, that's probably just medications. That's yep. a lot of medications. Well, I guess if you're taking one for different things, depression, anxiety, yep, uh, placebo, Advil. <laughs> yeah, there, I mean, it could be something as simple as like melatonin. Sure. Oh, I would. I read this as like I just swallow a bunch without thinking. I'm just I th like, I think my partner takes like three huh? before bed, so like 
the fact that they and it looks like three of those bottles are empty too so it looks like they maybe have four sure. medications yeah. it's not that bad it's not bad at all to chew on it do anything to stall just for a little more time Okay. I feel like it pointing out simple things like that, like transparent film, it's murky, it's red. Like we're supposed to know, oh, that's this. Oh, maybe. I thought you I, that's not where I thought you were going. I thought you were going to be like, um, like ADHD, maybe. Hmm. Uh, one of these could be ADHD medication. Well, it's just that they're like kind of really hyper focused on the pill. Yeah. Oh yeah, you ever popped open a gel cap? It's gross. Yeah. Well, like sometimes they just have powder inside, and so it's kind of like, and then the like the gel cap like actually sticks to your fingers. Like, ah, yeah. get off me. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to click your chair to not lean back. Yeah, careful with that. Yeah, like, sometimes the lock doesn't, like, lock. Yeah, I feel it. <laughs> pill fly straight to my waist bin. Oh, you wasted the pill. There's no way I'm drinking that. Oh, I get it. That's not the type of sleep I want. That's not it at all. It's fake. No, no, no. I don't even want to look at it. Okay. It's ADHD medication. Is it? I think so. Okay. <laughs> the pill flies into the waste bin. Like, you didn't put it there? <laughs> yeah, we are literally just... Yeah, saying we take our medication and throw it. it away. I wonder if this is all schizophrenia then. Oh, I don't know. Next half hour goes by in a similar fashion. I study every pill from all sides, and then I find reason not to swallow it. That's probably not a good thing. Mm -mm. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Is it self-medicating or okay. not? Well, yeah. My neck doesn't hurt anymore. That's crazy. <laughs> it's probably not a good thing either. Oh no. Did we just OD? Uh. Oh no. What? How come I didn't think of this earlier? It's so simple. Oh boy. Oh god. Okay. I really feel like it's going to jar us. Yep. Like here in a second. Like we're going to take get taken down the rabbit hole. Oh yeah, this is going to spiral us out of control. It's going to Oh crap. We, before we know it, it's going to... Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, are, before oh, we know it, it's Are we online? Are we online now? Oh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, before we know it, it's going to be like 3 a.m. real time. And we're going to be like, we've been playing this for five hours. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just going to be glued to this screen. The recording is going to end on its own and we're not even going to notice. <laughs> yeah. Fun fact, the 17th minute of this video, you watch it, you die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's addressing us. Okay. Um. Oh no, are we the psych? Are we the therapist? What? No. Uh. What? what yeah. What are we? I don't remember the prompt before. Did she say, "Hey, it's been a while"? I no, she weird. said, "Hey, how's it going?" or something like that. It hasn't even been an hour. You know, we're supposed to meet once per day, right? Um. Once per day. Huh. Because that's my name. Uh, it's, it's my handle. 
Did you buy the pictures, the overdose side effects, or the usual headaches, dizziness, exhaustion? Basically, nothing I can't handle by myself. After all, now I know how to do it. Bet you you don't. Um, did we, did, I thought we were just imagining that we took pills. Did we actually make our own cocktail? I'm pretty sure we made our own cocktail. Oh, God. You didn't reply. Yeah, you didn't answer the question. Aren't you even a little bit happy? Not even the slightest bit? Oh, uh, don't know. Don't say no. That's so mean. No, that's just where my mouse was. That's not true. You need to go to- you do need to go to bed, though. Yeah, yeah, I think this is like a Doki Doki Literature Club thing, uh, where eventually it's gonna start taking control of us and what we're doing. Are we? I think is that our night persona? Maybe. The medicine effects we're off. It's either like this person is talking to us, or we are them. I think we are them. A, oh, that's a good way to think about it, I guess. Nice job. You uh, gave yourself some motivation. Uh, I'm, try I'm trying to pay attention, like when when the person is talking and there's words, and like when she's not talking, are those thoughts oh. that we're also privy to? Sure. Yeah. Uh, this is what I'm curious about. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nuh uh. I still don't understand. Nuh uh. Oh. There's something else I can click here? Nope. Not that I don't want I think we're, I think this is us being, like, you know. Hard on ourselves? Yeah, like when people's brains are not nice to them. Uh. Isn't that, <laughs> isn't that depression? There are her. Pathetic. Yep, sounds like she's dealing with depression all of a sudden. Oh. Say something. Yeah, I think you might be right. I think we're discussing with ourselves at the moment. In terms of like what we're doing. Part of me is hoping that some of this is just a translation thing, too. Where it's like it's translating very, like, almost rudely, you oh, know? Yeah, I don't... I'd love to believe that, but I don't think that's the case. Shut my eyes, but that doesn't help. Wouldn't have helped even if I sunk through the floor. I start counting in my mind. Two squared, two by two squared, a square squared, a square pyramid squared, a pyramidal structure cubed, a pyramidal structure hypercubed. I feel better. All right. What? <laughs> I'm like, I'm sitting here trying to picture what she just said, and I'm just like, all right, that's a lot of math. <laughs> but my head is splitting apart now. I kind of want to do both. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. All you, man. You're the driver's seat. All right. How do you feel? You're mocking me, right? I'm obligated to ask you this at least a couple times per session. Session? Yeah, I'm like, I feel like it's a therapist thing now. But I don't want to, I'm not going to do obligation. I'm going to say if you say so. I'm worried about you. I know. I've been acting weird, haven't I? You see, I took a bunch of pills and now we're trying to act normal? <laughs> don't know why, but I thought I'd be able to take control. I was almost ready to. I was sure I'd be able to change something. After all, I was able to buy milk, you know? Yeah, you ought to know how challenging it was. Ah, so the milk thing was a metaphor. Social anxiety. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they seemed like... Is that what you Really seen? bad outside. Yeah. Like... Like, um, not bad at being outside, but like, not doing they well. were in a bad way. Yeah, yeah. Is that why you threw away the medicine? <laughs> what a stupid decision, right? Undoubtedly, or whatever it was, it was your decision. Does it even matter? Yeah, yes it does. Somehow I find it hard to believe. Then why did you do that? I felt like I'd be able to fight it on my own. It's true, the pain subsided for a bit at that time, but now I feel it triple in force. Oh, yeah. yeah it hurts so bad. I'll just drink your medicine or I'll stop talking to you. You know what to do. God, they're both so ominous. Yeah. Ominous or shitty friend. <laughs> yep. And this is what I know about mental illness. Like, there's there's the part of the brain where like the person knows what they have to do, and but there's that part that's just like maybe I don't need this. Maybe I'm you know. Sure. Can do it by myself and I don't need the medication. I get that. 100% get that. And that's what she, she's dealing with. Dejected, I reach out for the shelf with my medicine. I swallow the pills one after another, chasing away the unpleasant visions that keep floating up in my memory. And yet, my mind still draws a terrifying picture, lumps of coagulated blood and transparent coating traveling down my esophagus, scratching its soft walls, leaving behind furrows. I shake my head violently. I don't care. I don't care if it makes me feel dizzy or worse in my pain. I just don't want to think about something so repulsive. You still haven't changed. What do you mean? You're afraid of being alone. This worries you much more than pain. Yeah, I guess. I toss the last pill into the air and catch it with my mouth. <laughs> Turn this into, like, Cheez-Its, dude. Like, <laughs> but I guess we're going to do something. Just have having, fun with it. having a little fun with it, yeah. Totally get that. He's like, well, this is my life now. I'm trying to catch it like popcorn. Any idea what the shirt means? It just looks like a zero. With a cross or like a line through it. Lie on the floor and look at the ceiling. I can clearly hear water running through the metal pipes up there. I hear the cracking of concrete blocks that will someday or surely fall on my head. But I'm not afraid of that at all. I can't imagine death coming from above, rather. It's rearing its... <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, it's rearing its claws from somewhere below, waiting for me to lose focus. You want to talk about it? No, I've had enough talking. Uh, 
the music got really intense. Not really intense, but it was a lot more intense than bathroom music. Yeah. You never know with these games. <laughs> what do you want then? I I just want to lie down for a bit. Even if the ceiling's bound to collapse, it won't be today. Dot dot dot. Or say nothing. <laughs> I mean, this, I feel like, is just trying to instill the idea of, like, why worry about something that's not right now? I think that's an, yeah, that's an assumption. Just, like, that they're actually staring at the ceiling because they think it's going to fall, yeah. rather than just actually lying there. Right. But then saying nothing is kind of just respecting the fact that she just wants to lay there. Right. Or they just want to lay there. Oh, it just ended. Okay. I carefully extract thoughts that are yet to be fully formed from my head and lay them out on the ceiling in orderly rows. Now it's my now it's my cork board. In hopes of seeing the whole picture, I switch them from one place to another, pile them on top of each other, scatter them around. In the end, I throw them off uh, with my hand, annoyed, and I start over. I can't do it. You can always imagine your thoughts as something small and swarming, like cockroaches. Ew, I hate cockroaches. Can I make them fireflies? <laughs> I don't mind either way. Oh, that's cool. Neat trick. I don't even have time to blink before my thoughts, they're fireflies now, start whirling all over the ceiling of their own accord, forming whimsical patterns. Mm -hmm. I can only observe them and wait for the right moment. It's just that moment doesn't come. The mocking sounds of flapping wings coming from the ceiling make me start losing my patience. Oh boy. Enough. I hate you. I spring to my feet and scream at the top of my lungs. The fireflies scatter. Good job. Now start over. No way. Unstable behavior makes you look bad. I don't give a damn. So that doesn't bother you. Should it? <sighs> Unstable behavior. That's a that's a tough that's a tough call. Like you don't want you don't want somebody to feel like shameful over their behavior, but I mean, at the same time, like, you do. It's like... But that that's it, thats me speaking as a non-neurodivergent person. Yeah. Like, I, I'm capable of, like, feeling shame for some of my actions, knowing that some are unaccepted by myself other or others. Mm-hmm. But there are other people who are wired differently, and they can't... They don't have that option. Right. I think it also could be taken, too, as acknowledgement acknowledge the fact that like hey this might not be the healthiest choice yeah well th yeah that i mean that's um some people like with mental illness like are unable to take ownership over their feelings or their actions yeah um because they use the term uh what do they say feel bad 
Ashamed. Ashamed. I'm yeah. going to go with no. I think acknowledged, but not ashamed. You know, unless you're stabbing somebody, then maybe feel a little ashamed. Sure, <laughs> sure. Depending on who the person is. Yeah, depending on who. A lot of people act like this. Really? There's nothing shameful about snapping at someone if you have a reason for that. You did have a reason, didn't you? You'll surely get better, believe me. And now, start over. <laughs> <laughs> You're at it again. What do you mean? Never mind. And I've changed my mind anyway. Please don't stay silent for this long anymore. I'm having a hard time without your help. Fine. I raise my eyes to look at the ceiling once more. Sadly, all my fireflies seem to be hiding somewhere. I need to find them. Forget about them and go to bed. Say nothing. <laughs> I'd say nothing. Yeah, we don't want to give them mixed signals. Right. I glance around the room. There are too many places for creatures as small as a firefly to hide here. They can be anywhere. Suddenly, I hear a deafening rumble. The clock has just hit midnight. It's so late already, but I can't go to bed right now. Will you help me? Please, tell me you'll help me. Come on, stop bullying me. You promised to talk to me. What were you thinking while you were laying on the floor? What do you mean? You should know it better than anyone else. That's the thing. I have no idea. This is weird. Or say nothing. Uh, talk. Yeah. They, that, they, they want to talk. Yeah, that's a good point. That and if this is going to be more of like a getting an expression out of somebody who may not be able to, this is probably the, the route to go down. Especially if they're trying to express why their thoughts are like fireflies. Will you tell me? I... Right then. <laughs> roll my sleeves and start rubbing my eyes intensely. They are so itchy. Why are you crying? My eyes are itchy. Did you drink milk? Did he bring milk? Ugh. This feels like the the mindset of the monster. Um, I'm gonna have you read the responses that you click. Okay. Uh... I'm gonna go with you, and here's why. <laughs> My thought process is if he starts targeting the thing that you're looking for an outlet with, um, you might not go to the outlet anymore in terms of, like, talking to somebody. Yeah. Let's try it, I guess. I mean, this isn't exactly much better, but... Yeah. Did you drink milk? I wonder if I tear out all my eyelashes one after another, will my eyes stop itching? <laughs> all right, cool. I wonder... If I tear out all my eyelashes, one after another, all my eyelashes, one after another, if I tear them all out, all my eyelashes, one after another. What have you done? I need to gather the glass, and then, then I need to have a bath, and then... Oh, Jesus. Here, drink some milk. No! That she said was I died and felt something. My mouth agape, gasping for air. I think I just experienced death. I don't think any other way to explain what happened. I don't know of any other way to explain what just happened. Well, that was surely something. 
will you tell me or not? About what? Let's look for the fireflies instead. You're acting weird. Help me instead of running your mouth. I've already had enough adventures before bed. I need to gather my thoughts quickly and go to bed. And my thoughts are hiding from me. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I have no idea where to start to look for them. Me neither. I guess we'll have to tear the whole place apart. No, 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 no. If I make even the smallest of messes in here, I'll feel really bad. All the things should stay in their places, and that's it. Why? Everything in their place. Place for everything. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I don't, and I won't. Alright then, uh, so we need to find a bunch of tiny insects inside a mountain of junk without moving anything, even an inch. Yeah. My, oh my. I have an idea. Last time, becoming a visual novel character helped me achieve my goal. Now I want to become a point-and-click adventure game character. You know those games have moments when you just look at different objects and something inevitably happens. How very meta. <laughs> Sounds so fun. And what about the things you use regularly? Don't, do you refuse to touch them as well? It would make it even more interesting. This is so childish. And want to know what's the best part? You'll be the one doing it. Oh, no. Oh, yes. I start panicking as soon as I get in a multiple choice situation. I'll skip changing my mind and end up crying and run away. Do you want that to happen? You are such a handful. You've already proven that you're able to make decisions, why not just continue down that road? Come on, don't be so boring. I'm just teasing you. You don't have to bear the whole burden. Asking for help is a reasonable decision, too. Let's begin already. I go to the middle of the room and look around. Where would I hide if I were a tiny firefly? Ah, this is so thrilling. My heart gets warmer from the pleasant anticipation. Hey. What? Look down. I look down after a moment, and a small ball of light and warmth crawls out from under my sweater. Wowee! <laughs> if you click wowee, you're jinxed and you owe me a coke. <laughs> Uh, there's smoke coming from your clothes. <laughs> Whatever. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, that seemed like the more interesting answer at that moment. <laughs> nope, the fireflies are all hidden in my sweater. Carefully grab the firefly. It's pleasantly scorching to the touch. I put it on my shoulder. That is not uh, a good thing. And that is how the house fire began. Right? I'm sorry, little guy. Time to come home now. And I jam him in my ear. <laughs> and then flies into my ear. <laughs> Called it. Yep, yeah, the speed of a bullet. It <laughs> tickles. Uh, one down, let's look for the others. Yeah. Point and click adventure. Whoa, whoa. Are 
Are you clicking? No. Oh. Not yet. I'm looking at all the things that are clickable. Yeah. All right. Start here. I tilt my head backwards and almost fall over. The closet is hanging under the ceiling, at least 300 feet off the floor. <laughs> sure. Are you joking? Even though it's my room, not everything here is for me to use. Whatever. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care at all. Like, totally, and I'm definitely not worried. Not even the littlest bit, not even a smidgen of the littlest bit. Not even for a thousandth of a percent, that's how much I don't care. Hmm. Hey, I'm not even done telling you how much I don't care. From this moment on, I'm ignoring you. Oh, no you don't. <laughs> Then act normal. <laughs> Wait, insects enjoy pollinating the flowers and stuff like that? Um, yeah, I guess. I get close to the flower shelf, I sniff around. The leaves smell of dust and cardboard and death. You know those plants are long dead, right? Uh, I'm not sure a dead plant will be able to attract any insects. That is where you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, we kind of don't have a choice here, you know. Still, you're right. Let's continue searching. Why don't you just throw them out? Weren't you listening to me at all? Oh no, not the alarm clock. <laughs> it's not easy to get out of here. <laughs> okay. There's a lot more things to click as we go. I look at the alarm clock. Time continues its unstoppable flow. Music so late. Just changed. Are you tired? You bet I am. Let out a theatric yawn and hold out my arms to the sides. One, two. Then I raise them above my head. Three, four. Maybe a little workout will help me freshen up. Good idea. Do you remember the exercises you've been taught? I think so. I take a hesitant stance. What was it? Heels together, toes apart? Whatever, I'll go with that. Count down five minutes. Fine. You have a clock right in front of you, though. I can't look at its hands for too long. First, I feel like they start moving in the wrong direction and then they disappear altogether. And then things always get messy. Last time I saw a pair of eyes on the clock face. And also, I used to hear voices back in the day. They pleaded for help, I think. What a mess. Truly a mess. It was a mess, right? A mess? Oh, are you counting down? My god, finally. What do you mean? I was trying to get through to you for a half an hour. Huh? Forget it. Do you see the firefly? N no. Let's continue searching then. I look at my laptop. I haven't touched it for years, so it's covered with a layer of dust as thick as my finger. A bizarre item. I fear it. 
I don't know of one that would require like fear of technology. Uh, I think laptop internet represents outside world. Oh, could be. Why? I'm like, we're about to find out. It's a long and boring story. Wonderful. Tell me about it. Hmm. I insist. I don't remember how it appeared in my room. One of my parents probably brought it here because they couldn't find a better place for it. They didn't prohibit me from using it. On the other hand, they encouraged me to do so. Sure, I've spent my whole days in front of the screen, games, drawing, engineering, calculator, 3D modeling. So much fun stuff to do. You had amusing hobbies. Yeah, I did. Before entering the web. Hmm? Imagine this, you're a hamster that lives underground. You have everything for comfortable living. Did you imagine? As always, your analogies are spot on. Okay, I imagined. Alright, so you're a hamster that lives underground. You have everything for comfortable living, okay? Okay. Wonderful. And here's the situation. You're a hamster that lives. Okay, I got it. Do you want to talk about something else? Yeah. any of these. <laughs> <laughs> you have to pick one. I feel like the internet's going to grade me on my choices. <laughs> like, God. One Tim, can only hope. Yeah, it's like, God, Tim's such a dick. <laughs> You'll end up returning to that subject anyway. On one wonderful day, someone digs you up from your hamster house and brings you to the pet store. Now your new home is a cage. It's way more comfortable and warm compared to the underground. And the most important part, you have a lot of neighbors here. Your cages are identical to yours. The other hamsters look identical to you too. That means you are all the same. Apart from the fact that they were born at that shop. You'll ask, what does that indicate? And I'll tell you, nothing at all. I forget what I was talking about. Gosh. Okay, let's start over. This time, try to avoid the stupid hamster analogies. You know, I'm not at fault here. So, I had a lot of friends online. Tens, hundreds of them. Impossible to count. Is it impossible, though? I had exactly 317 of them. Although, I guess nobody counts the exact number of hamsters when they walk into a pet shop. Hey, don't get distracted. Oh, right. From my 317 friends, 68 were into gaming, just like me. 130 of them like drawing, just like me. The remaining 119 were into calculators and 3D modeling equally. And when I say equally, I don't mean 59 and a half friends on each side. <laughs> Alright. You can split numbers evenly, no problem, but math doesn't work like that when it comes to friends. A major conundrum, right? Get to the point. I knew, of course, that no real people exist on the web. I also understood that all of my friends die the moment I turn off my laptop. But I still wasn't even a bit worried. Why? Do you know what computer programs consist of? It's just a combination of numbers. Which means my friends are also numbers. Isn't that amusing? Not really. Why do you call them your friends? I mean, 
everyone who shares my interest is my friend. Uh, I don't care whether they know about my existence or not. Anyways, as I was saying, every program has its own algorithm and purpose, its mathematical formula. And if you solve that formula, you'll be able to predict the program's behavior at any moment. The longer you speak, the less I follow. You don't need to follow me around, just listen. <laughs> I sit on the floor, and the laptop screen ends up right in front of me. The only real thing reflected in its in it is my dim face. <laughs> I thought that was dumb face for a second. <laughs> The web person is just a random picture and a random string of letters. Words and actions from the web person are just executable code. Hey. Let me know if you need a break. One day someone appeared. From that point on, my laptop was always on. There are no real people on the web, but he was good at pretending. At some moment, I let him trick me. Hey, look. Huh. Suddenly a firefly slowly crawls out of the laptop's vent grill. I reach for it. It gets on top of my palm, blinking all the while. I think it's trying to say something. I could see that myself, if only I knew what. Looks like a cipher. Don't you want to crack it? I changed my mind. I have absolutely no desire to find out what it wants to say. <laughs> Firefly stops glowing for a moment after that. Then it starts glowing again, as if coming back to its senses. For some time, it thinks about the further course of actions, then flies up and dashes into my ear. Let's continue searching. And what about your story? You must be mad at me for interrupting you. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, that's you. <laughs> I was like, we can switch if you want to break. <laughs> if you do everything right, I'll finish my story. Maybe. Do you promise? I promise. And if you forget... Then remind me. With a code word, for example. What code word? Banana hammock. I'll think of one later. <laughs> After now, let's keep searching for my fireflies. I look up toward a very high place under my ceiling. I can hear a countless number of small legs marching inside the AC unit. Oh well. What happened? Fireflies can't be friends with cockroaches. We'd better look somewhere else. Why would cockroaches be in there? Have you forgotten? You're the one who told me to think of my thoughts as cockroaches. Yeah, but... They became fireflies afterwards, but the cockroaches didn't disappear just like that. So they occupied this place. Do you understand now? I do. Is it two radios? Anymore? Three radios. Oh, shit. Uh, Editor Jason, can you play that in reverse? <laughs> hmm, human music. I like it.
The sound is very human. Can you interact with that fan on the floor? No, not that one. The paper fan. This one? Yeah. Oh, it's an umbrella. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Uh, Don't turn on any more radios. <laughs> I have to. I can't. I can't I, handle it. Yeah, I know, but you need more of a sample size if you're going to start playing stuff backwards. Damn it. Now it doesn't sound like talking. Now it sounds just like music backwards. It's changing. Why are you doing this to me? I'd push that radio out the fucking window. Is that why I have the voice inside your head <laughs> during this playthrough? <laughs> trying to get back to the one where it was backwards. You know what I'm dreading? Listening to that radio with headphones on later. By yourself? Yes. And your noise-canceling headphones? Yes. Probably at night in this dark room? <laughs> yes. Well, now that we have the radio debacle in... I need to get some more water, so I think this is the perfect time to uh, break and start again. <laughs> oh, you want? Oh, God. Okay, fine. <laughs> fine. 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 Uh, fine. Me, to give you a break, maybe I'll do the reading of the girl and you can pick the answers. How about that <laughs> for the next hour? All right. All right. We'll be back, kids. Okay. And more horror movie reading time with imbeciles. Oh, God.